The semi-final round of monster truck action here in Roanoke, Virginia has the crowd literally in a frenzy as the machines head out for battle. It'll be Ken Duffy in the whiskey business Chevrolet taking on the most legendary Ford of them all. John Pyant at the wheel of Bob Chandler's Bigfoot. The winner of these two semi-final round matchups will advance to the final round. Plant wheels around to select his lane of choice. Ken Deppy waits patiently on the line. Plant will stick down. once again in the right-hand lane. He qualified there and the won his first-round battle on that side of the course. The look of concentration. Plant trying to continue the Bigfoot win streak. And pulls out the victory by less than half a truck length. And again comes within inches of the retaining wall. You got to give credit to Ken Duffy in the rear engine Chevrolet. He kept pace all the way, only losing out by a matter of feet at the finish line of this short course. Hyatt waves to the appreciative fans who will head to the pits and get ready to do battle in the final round, taking on the winner of the next pair of machines, heading for the line. And the crowd greets the next pair of combatants. It'll be the big pink Chevrolet called Clydesdale of Penny Clark, digging on the working class hero, the one and only Rob Fuchs and the First Blood Ford. Two side-by-side -side Chevy versus Ford battles determining our finalists here at Roanoke, Virginia. Fuchs checks the cars in the First Blood Ford, determining which lane he wants. He will take the right-hand lane, surprisingly enough. While Bennett Clark lines up on the far side of the floor here at Roanoke. Certainly an interesting battle for both these drivers. They know that they want to win, but they also know that if they do, they'll have to battle big ones for the championship title. Hughes gets a slight advantage, but here comes the Clydesdale. And an incredibly close battle. They both stop literally a few feet from the wall, but we're going to have to take a look at the replay to determine the winner on this one. Hughes gets the whole shot in the red Ford in the near lane. Now Bennett Clark and the Clydesdale comes from behind at the finish line. It is Rob Hughes by a matter of inches. Even the Woodstock, Illinois racer can't believe that the win was by that small of a margin. But the crowd gives him a cheer as he heads into the final round to take on Bigfoot. Coming up, you'll get a chance to see the Camel Mud Racing Super Modified Shootout and the battle between First Blood and Bigfoot. Who will it be? Stay with us. Get ready as we are prepared to determine the Camel Super Modified Mud Racing Shootout winner here in Tallahassee, Florida. Jody Kelly out of North Carolina will get to set the pace in this field of four. Kelly shuts the engine down as the car begins to go into a power stand. The elapsed time, however, will stand as the mark to beat in the shootout, 1.921 seconds. Tony Ferrotti, the number three qualifier. On the brake hard, but a disqualification by about three feet. Ferrotti goes past the 80-foot mark that marks the end of the shutdown area and dumps it with a disqualification. A tough, tough break. But that will certainly leave Jody Kelly still in the number one spot. Remember, this is a game of acceleration and deceleration. The next driver on the starting line, Melvin Brown in the red heat rear engine dragster who qualified number four with a career best in the quickest field ever. A rough, rough ride, but he'll stop it in time. He had to go quicker than 1.921 seconds. The Ohio campaigner with the supercharged dragster does it. 1.888 seconds will take the number one spot. And that means it comes down to this driver. The only Ford in the Camel shootout, the supercharged Thunderbird bunny car of Michigan's Mark Watros. The Team Rancho shock absorber machine qualified with a career best 171. He's got a beat. 1.88 to win. A full throttle run on the brake. 
but he's disqualified. The Rubatch comes up in a slam of disgust, and Watros knows he just threw a possible victory right out the window. The Alab time, in fact, would have been good enough to win at 1.79 seconds, but a disqualification will be the official word. Watros is disgusted. Melvin Brown and the Red Heat rear engine Chevy Dragster wins the Camel Shootout at 1.888 seconds against Jody Kelly, Tony Perotti, and the Thunderbird of Mark Watros. Meet an all-four battle between one of the highest tech, highest dollar pieces of machinery in the history of monster drug racing against a machine literally built in a backyard garage in upstate Illinois. It's Bigfoot and John Plant against the guy they call the working class hero, Rob Fuchs, the unsponsored independent in the first blood board. Fuchs, the rookie of the year in 1989, finished in the top eight of the U.S. Auburn Association World Championship battle last season. John Plant finished in the top four. And Fuchs would like nothing more than to slay the giant in this David versus Goliath battle. finish line on the nose and into the wall it's john plant and bigfoot taking the victory a valiant effort by the first blood driver rob fuchs left the starting line right with plant but the bigfoot machine came on in the top end to drive away on the instant replay you can see that there was no advantage gained on the initial reaction but in the air is where bigfoot picked up then hard on the nose and hard on the brake, just tapping the wall. John Plant steps out to the cries of the crowd. They love every minute of it when Bigfoot comes away a winner. It's time for this week's power drive. In Tallahassee, Florida, Mark Watros took the Team Rancho Shock Absorber's Thunderbird to the quickest elapsed time ever recorded for a mud racer with Ford power. He stopped in time, and at 1.714 seconds, he earned this week's power drive. After qualifying fourth and last in the Camel Shootout, Melvin Brown of the supercharged Chevy-powered Red Heat rear engine dragster comes away a winner here in Tallahassee, Florida, at 1.88 seconds. On the slow motion play, watch the beating he took in the cockpit on this run thrown around on a very ruddy track, but coming up with a number good enough to win it all. Meanwhile, in Roanoke, Virginia, Bigfoot versus First Blood. All four battle produced one of the best side-by-side -side finales we've seen this season. As both drivers left the starting line together, then it was Bigfoot pulling away in the air, and John Bryant took Bob Chandler's big blue board into another winner's circle. On the slow motion replay, Plant was picture perfect. Leaving the starting line and then hitting the crush guard with perfect form in the air. A little bit of a rough landing, but a landing that was good enough to comb home in first place. Chris Chapman is standing by with John Plant in the winner's circle. John, congratulations on the victory. Thank you. It felt really good. Did you think that you were going to really maybe have to do a little bit more than you expected going into this drop shoot? Yeah, I've been uh, kind of testing the track out every run, you know, pushing a little bit harder and harder. I knew I was going to have to run real hard to, you know, beat him in the final. Um, that was the hardest I hit the hill, and it, it pushed him pretty hard. I took a good hit. My back kind of sore. Something about whenever trucks come up against you on that far lane, they'd like to get out of control. Did you see him getting out of control? Um, no, I didn't really see anything except the wall and the, the ground and a few other assorted things. I didn't think you were going to stop all the camera crew. truck took a funny hop and I came off the cars and you know we can make sure it doesn't get real bad is get on the throttle hard so I had to get on the throttle and then instantly hit the brake. Did you see flashbacks at the Buffalo Trimmer? <laughs> no I didn't. I, I didn't really have any trouble with my truck bouncing around bad. Well congratulations. Second out of a field of nine ain't bad. Not bad but we'll see what we get first tomorrow. Well, you certainly could not have asked for a more incredible super modified mud race. The quickest field in history in the Camel Shootout. The second quickest elapsed time in history. 1.71 seconds for Mark Watros with Thunderbird and a big win from Melvin Brown and the Red Heat Dragster. It's not going to slow down either. You're going to see more action like this for the rest of the season. Well, that's a wrap from the Roanoke Civic Center. I'm Chris.